Hey, what's up, Street Talks? Eric from the Eric from Street Photography Blog. Currently in downtown LA with a um, new prototype Henri Next strap. This is going to be the most gangsta version yet with Python. Anyways, walking on the streets with um, film like a MP. And I actually had this random thought is, you know, nowadays with photography, shooting, I'm uh, recording this on the Xiaomi 9SE phone. And it's probably the best phone slash camera phone that I've ever used. And this is just like a random thought I have about the future of photography. Maybe the future of photography, maybe the future of photography is going to become this barbell between phone photography and uh, and film photography or phone photography and digital medium format. So essentially the idea is this. If you want the ultimate convenience in terms of shooting quickly and more efficiently and more effectively, perhaps the best strategy is to just shoot with the phone because with the shoot, you can shoot, you can edit, you can process, you can upload the photos quickly. But if you just wanted a more slow approach, a more meditative approach, a little more considered approach, then perhaps shooting with a film camera is actually a good strategy because I know for me, I like instant feedback. And one of the great things about shooting with film is it helps you kind of do the reverse and slow down and forget about what you photographed. And therefore, uh, a lot longer down the line, you could relive the experiences where you shot with film. And with the phone, obviously, if you're, you want to see the photos as quickly as possible, Embrace the extremes. Shoot with the phone because with the phone you can see your photos immediately, you can share them instantly, you could edit and post process them very quickly and effectively. And with film, it's super, super slow. So even one thing I like to do is if I see a scene that's interesting, like you know, seeing these nice scenes, shoot it first with the phone and then also shoot it with film. And then after afterwards you could actually enjoy both sides because I think the the reason I've been personally suckered in photography is that I thought in photography, it was one of the others, like I could only shoot film or I could only shoot digital. But now on, honestly, it's all photography is good. Shoot film, shoot digital, shoot your phone, standalone digital camera. As long as any of your photography is keeping you inspired and keeping you happy, I think it's all good photography. And also shooting not only just um, photos, but also shooting video and other forms of creative expression. I think we tend to allow ourselves to get put into these little boxes that, oh, I only do this or I only do that. But I think that the more you can expand your own creative campus to allow yourself to do anything, uh, the better. Even for me creatively, not only do I like to write and vlog, I like to vlog and make these videos. And apologies for the loudness. We're in downtown LA, so it's pretty loud here. And so for me, yeah, just um, all the different peoples, the different creative stimuli. People here are also also fun. And yeah, so uh, thoughts shoot more with their phone. In terms of my personal favorite phone cameras, check out the Xiaomi 9 SE. It's really good. Uh, generally speaking, come to downtown areas. There's uh, still lots of uh, interesting dynamic things happening in downtown LA. So I wouldn't sleep on downtown LA, obviously in New York and all these other places, but uh, walk more, think more, shoot more, make more, create more, wonder more, challenge yourself more, and uh, never stop making. Just love for watching, guys. Peace out.